Hi, my name is Denis and I would like to present you today a brand new feature of the NTP Active Monitor in WhatsApp Companion plugin. This new function extends the capabilities of WhatsApp Goal to monitor the difference of time between one device and the NTP server. I will now show you how you can configure this Active Monitor in your WhatsApp Goal environment. So first what we're going to do is just go to the Active Monitor library to see where exactly we are retrieving the time of the device. So to do so we go to the SNMP monitor and here we're going to connect to the device where we want to retrieve the NTP time. Um, so you see on this device we are retrieving the SNMP time here on this OID value. It's written in hexadecimal and we're going to use this kind of information to make the comparison with the NTP server. So now we're going to create this NTP monitor extended. We're going to precise the NTP server so it will be fr.pool.ntp.org and here you see that you can configure the difference time with NTP server that you want your monitor will be uh, will be down so it's like if your monitor is going down if the difference of time is more than something in the par SNMP time parameters you can configure uh, how you're going to retrieve the SNMP uh, value so actually we have uh, some XML file is the same as the SNMP extended for example so here we have a XML file with some uh, actual at the moment we have two OIDs and we have uh, the type of value that we are retrieving so you see that for in our uh, in our field we are retrieving hexadecimal value so that's why here uh, we need to we need to go and format uh, specify the format of the data that we know retrieve. Uh, so here we're gonna just use this OID. Uh, we come back to our monitor, we're gonna just precise the OID value that we want to use. And then we need to use the date format uh, which is really important to be sure that the, the test is working. And then we're going to precise if there is any offset. So here you can s modify the value if you need. The type of value is very important also. Though, so that's why here we are specifying hexadecimal and we're going to check the use parameters box to be sure that it's going to connect with these parameters. Let's just change the name of this active monitor. And now let's test this monitor against a device. So the NTP monitor is just going to retrieve the SNMP time of the device and going to compare this time with the NTP server that we have specified in the monitor. Here we have 28 seconds difference time so that's why the monitor is down. If we configure the monitor with a threshold of 30 seconds then you're going to see that the monitor is going fine, we have a return code of 0 and the time is just 29 seconds. So what's pretty fast just to check the NTP time. Now we need just to add this monitor as or any other active monitor to the device. So we add it and now you're gonna see that the monitor is up. So it means that the, the test is working fine. Thank you for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. And don't forget to visit us on our website www.orsena.com. Feel free to contact us if you need more information by email or by phone. Bye bye.